in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady, Queen of all saints, pray for us, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We're continuing with the era, uh, the new era of the divine will, part one. And uh, we're on volume 24, August 2nd, 1928. Louisa begins, I was feeling all concerned because of these blessed writings. Now, Jesus has been telling Louisa for 24 volumes that uh, these writings will change the face of the earth. I remember when we were in the secret archives of the Vatican, getting the writing, copying the writings of Louisa. Uh, it was the joy that we had was knowing that once these writings came out of the Vatican, the world was going to change. Uh, the world was going to change for the better. Uh, like Our Lady of Revelation said to Bruno in 1947, time has now come to an end. What that meant was the new era is going to begin. Uh, the new era of peace, joy, and happiness, the new era of heaven on earth, the fulfillment of the Our Father. And uh, many, many things changed with um, uh, Father Gobi in 1997. This was a year later. Our Lady said to Father Gobi, uh, everything is completed. What was completed? What does Our Lady mean by that? Everything's completed. It meant that the new era has begun. As she told Father uh, Gobi, Our Lady said to Father Gobi, uh, it will begin in Mexico City. She said to Father Gobi, uh, the triumph of the make of the heart of Mary will begin in Mexico City. And what happens? The, where these writings first went was to Acuna's group in Mexico City, his Divine Will Prayer Group. They had already read and studied volume one through volume 19 that, that we had uh, that were not confiscated because they were already printed in 1930, 1920, 1930 uh, by St. de Francia. What, what was interesting at this point is now the hidden volumes that were in the Vatican, this is volume 20 through volume 36, were now given to the world. The world has changed. Look what happened in the year 2000. Everything changed. Why? Because if you listen to St. Faustina, what Jesus told St. Faustina, Jesus says, the final devotion that I give to my church before I return is divine mercy. That's the final devotion. Pope St. John Paul II gave us this divine mercy in the year 2000. So a year after that, what happens? The whole world changed and it hasn't been the same since. It seems to be getting more and more difficult. What is, what is this? This is the birth pains that we're going through. Uh, the kingdom of God being born, that being manifested on earth as it is in heaven. So Luis is concerned about these writings. Here it is, 1928. She says, the thought of letting them come out is always a torment for me, she says. And then the so many incidents that happen, now one way, now another. So everything was in topsy-turvy in 1928. Uh, and we can see that is where, you know, the beginnings, if you want to say, of World War II. Everything was happening. Like today, everything is happening. Why? We are closer and closer to this new era that's coming on earth as it is in heaven. She says, and many times this makes me think that maybe it is not the will of God that wants my sacrifice in words, but with facts. Jesus wants to spare me a sorrow so great that only, that only the thought that I might be opposed to his divine will makes me say fiat, fiat. So she's teaching us. This is something that's very important. Our life is to always say fiat in every situation. 
A lot of people, when something goes wrong, they say, maybe this is not the will of God. So I will say, can, I will continue to give my fiat uh, to, oh, to draw closer and closer to Jesus, closer and closer to his holy church. So here she says, uh, the great sorrow that maybe, she says, these writings aren't what God wants for the world. You know, he, he says he does, but maybe I'm wrong, she says. But I will continue to say fiat to Jesus, fiat to Mary, fiat to the Holy Church. This is what we have to do as well. There are, they, we are in a time of confusion, if you want to say, with what's going on in the Holy Church, what's happening throughout the world, what's happening with all the nations, uh, even some of the things that are said from the Vatican. We, we continue to make our way to Calvary. The, the saints have taught us that the bride of Christ must go through the crucifixion that the groom went through first, Jesus. What he went through first, Mary at the foot of the cross with Christ. What's, what's going to happen is a, a new beginning of this new era that is going to be so glorious, Jesus said, it will look as if Adam didn't sin. So this purification that the world and the church is going through it is needed. Uh, not, to, not to be uh, worried, fearful, anxious, complaining, or negative, but to trust in God, to believe in God, to hope in God. And what does that mean? It's fiat. This is what Our Lady said. Fiat mihi, let it be done to me as you want, as you wish, Lord. You're my Lord, you're my Savior, you're my Master, you're my King, you're my God, you're my all, and I trust you. This is why the final devotion given to the church is divine mercy before Jesus returns. Do you see, do you see the time that we're living in? This is glorious. So we always say fiat, fiat, always say fiat, fiat. No matter what we have to go through, it's fiat. I trust in you. I might not understand this. I might not want this, but I trust in you. The church basically has to go to Calvary. The church has to go through what Christ went through. Why? This is the purification that the church must go through, the world must go through, in order to be ready for this great gift of the divine will. This new heaven and the new earth that's very, very close. Jesus, so, so she, Louisa says this, but while I was thinking of this, my always lovable Jesus moved in my interior and told me, my daughter Louisa, the will of God that the writings of my divine will come to light is absolute. This book of heaven is going to be given to the world. It's going to be absolute. It's going to happen. It is necessary, Jesus says, to know the why and the how this is going to happen. How the kingdom of God is going to come on earth as it is in heaven. How the Father is going to be fulfilled. Jesus says, this book of heaven, which Jesus calls the gospel of the kingdom, which he says in Matthew 24, until the gospel of the kingdom is proclaimed to all the world, that has to happen first. So what is Jesus doing? He's, he's showing us that as God, he has this planned. He told the apostles this way back 2,000 years ago. And now is the time that it's being fulfilled. A new beginning for all the world. A new beginning for the Holy Church. Where there will be one church, one flock, one shepherd. There's not going to be many religions. We're going to return to that universal life that Adam had before the fall. We are going to re-enter into the garden. That's why in volume 25, no, no, excuse me, volume 26, when Louisa first went into the garden uh, at the orphanage that she lived at that was built for her by St. Honorable de Francia. When she went into the garden, Jesus says, this is a simile of the Garden of Eden. 
See, when we pray, Jesus wants us to enter into our garden to be one with him. We, we need a place to pray. And that place in our home can be a chair, can be our bed, can be a room, can be a chapel. But we need a place to pray where we can be alone with Jesus. As Jesus says, go to your room, close the door and, and pray. Be one with God, fuse with God. That's what we're learning in this great gift of the divine will. What this fusion, fusion with God is all about. This oneness with God that's all about. Two pieces of metal that are fused together become one. That's what God is asking of us to be with him. So we need this place to be alone. We need this place to pray uh, with God all alone in our room. Close the door. This is what he means. So Jesus says this. He says, the writings of the divine will will come to light. This is absolute. And as many incidents that may occur, it will triumph. It will be the triumph of everything. It doesn't matter what we're going through now. There's the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary is going to occur. The triumph of the divine will is going to occur. The kingdom of God is going to be established on earth as it is in heaven. It's very close. Very close. Jesus says this, and even if it should take years and years, it will know how to dispose everything so that its absolute will, the divine will, will be fulfilled. The will of God will occur, will be fulfilled, and we are going to see it. Even if you die, you're going to see it. Why? This is our life. This is the will of God. That we recognize what God had promised the apostles 2,000 years ago. Father, may your kingdom come on earth exactly the way it's in heaven. Jesus says this, the time in which they will come to light is relative and conditional upon the creatures who dispose themselves, that's us, to receive this great good that is so great. This is the gift of gifts. This is the prodigy of prodigies. And upon those souls who must occupy themselves with being its proclaimers, that's the priesthood. That's the priests. We have to understand that. Jesus called the divine will the sacrament of sacraments given to us by the holy priesthood of Christ. Don't Protestantize this great gift. Help your priest uh, by giving him, giving him, especially during Lent, the 24 hours of the Passion, you know, giving to him whether it's, it's the time of Our Lady or not, the prodigies of the Blessed Mother. These two books will convince the priest that this is of God. This is of the Holy Church. So Jesus says, he says, upon those souls, the priest who must occupy themselves with being its proclaimers to proclaim the gospel of the kingdom. And make the sacrifice so as to bring the new era of peace, the new era of the new sun, the new sun that will dispel all the clouds of evil. See, what's coming is the new heavens and the new earth. Listen to what Our Lady is telling us. Listen to what Our Lady said to Father Gobi. Listen to what Jesus had told Sister Faustina. Everything is coming to a new beginning. And Jesus is asking us to begin to live this new era of peace, joy, and happiness. How? By giving our fiat in all situations. Fiat. Fiat alux, let there be light. The world was created. Fiat mihi, the incarnation took place. And now the fiat voluntas tua, the new heavens and the new earth are real close. So we'll end with a prayer. May the blood that flowed upon the wood of this cross free us from our human will, that we live in God's holy divine will and be divinely healed. And we pray that this prayer becomes God's command, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.
Amen. God bless you.